Greetings everybody, John Tar here, and we're back with my bonfire to bonfire spoiler free walkthrough for Dark Souls 3. So we just killed Pontiff Sullivan, and we're at the Pontiff Sullivan bonfire, and now we're going to make our way all the way through Anorlando, an area you probably recognize. Well, you will recognize if you play Dark Souls 1. So, it's important to point out that I may actually get invaded here. There are a couple covenants that work similar to the... Um, the Belfry Covenant in Dark Souls 2. Basically, if I'm within their level range and I am embered, then I have a chance of getting invaded. I'm very low level right now though, so I don't think I will, but there's a good chance you will be. Um, basically, you just... It, it, it works similar to the Belfry in Dark Souls 2, like I was just saying, where if they, they're, they're just wearing uh, the little stamp of approval of being part of one of these covenants, and there's two of them here, then they automatically get summoned to invade you. So you can also run straight through that main courtyard down below, instead of running up here. But it's a little bit easier to run up top. There's me two, especially your first time through, there's two guys down below that, um, uh, once you kill them, they die permanently. There's also a giant, eh, kind of looking right at him right now. Oh, Christ. Uh, I'm gonna kill him. And cut this out. Okay, I killed that clown. Uh, ooh, drank one's grace. Oh my god, the guy with the death maracas showed up right behind him. <laughs> he didn't show up for the entire fight with the other guy. All right, I'll be right back. Okay, killed that guy too. No one else is gonna show up, so those guys die permanently. And see how there's a whole bunch of uh, signs right here. I'll let you figure that out. So anyway, now we're gonna make up our make our way up these stairs and have some PTSD flashbacks from playing Dark Souls One, because <laughs> there's a bunch of silver knights with giant bows and arrows trying to knock you off these flying buttresses. Right, you can see a couple of them. Oh my god, I nearly got hit right there. So there's two different sets of flying buttresses. Uh, I found running over this one on here, over here on the right, a little bit easier just to avoid getting hit and knocked off by their giant arrows. You can usually sprint right past them. There's quite a few items to find in this area. So that's the other flying buttress right there where it takes you out. They're pretty close. And make your way down here. Oh boy, another guy shooting an arrow. Now, where you want to go is through this door right here. But what I'm going to show you next is how to unlock a shortcut before going through there. Shortcuts are always nice to have, especially in areas where there's a very, very, very high likelihood you're going to get invaded. So, make your way down this ladder, slip it a slide, and this door opens from this side, and you're going to recognize all those uh, ugly purple skeletons throwing fireballs right here. See, you recognize those guys. We were just over there a second ago. So now we open that door, and uh, if you do manage to get knocked off, then you got a little bit less of um, a detour to make. <laughs> when you inevitably get knocked off by one of those freaking jerks with a uh, with a bow and arrow. Look at the size of those bows and arrows. Think they're overcompensating for something? Probably. Oh, jeez. And make your way over here. Oh my god, there's a giant statue there. Why? I'll let you figure that out. Pull this lever and make this thing spin around and around and around, and in the minutes, we're gonna get on it. Having flashbacks yet? This is indeed the anal rodeo from Dark Souls 1. It's quite a bit shorter of a section than it was in Dark Souls 1, fortunately, but it is nonetheless frustrating. So we push this lever again, and spin this whole thing back up to open up a new area. And I believe that's the side I want to exit on. I could be wrong. 50-50 chance. Aha, there's the next bonfire. I will point out that 
Oh, I missed my chance to point it out, actually. So before you spin this big pillar up, there is another covenant with a hidden walkway that you can access. So, search. And we're in Anal Rodeo. How fun. Rest this bonfire, refill my Sunny D container. Make our way up these stairs. And the next thing we're going to do is actually open that giant double door right in front. Uh, that is going to be a shortcut to the next boss. Over here on the left is the correct way to go. And you might be thinking, oh my god, is the old blacksmith there? And he is. Except he's dead. Let's pick up the coal. The giant's coal. Oh, buddy. They recreated this whole thing. Almost identical layout. Make your way all the way up here. And no, we are not going to fight Sma and Ornstein again. I promise. <laughs> if that was the flashback you were about having, don't worry about it. It's not too bad. Oh, jeez. Drop down here. And there are the double doors. Do yourself a favor and open these double doors for the shortcut. Because, as you can see behind me, there's the boss door. Oh my god, I forgot about him. Why? Oh, that's not how you don't open the double doors that way. Push this thing. Push this lever. 2,000. Don't get cursed. So, double doors are opening. Back down if you want, reheal, or kill this guy probably. Oh jeez. Let's sprint past all these guys and start the boss fight. And that is the end of this area. In the next video, we are going to be... Oh boy, I need to look at my notes. Uh, we need to backtrack, uh, back travel? backtrack to one of the previous forks that I pointed out. I believe next we're going to be going through the dungeon. I could be wrong. I've kind of lost track of where I am in the overall progress of this game. But anyway, kill this boss and see you on the other side. Game on.